Good day, everybody. Um, this is Edmund Vega speaking. I'm here to do a short video clip, or maybe a series of video clips, concerning how to pronounce certain Russian language words and terms. The idea came to me while following um, um, news concerning the conflict in the Ukraine. Um, I've been following mainly the English language media and I noticed that many commentators and journalists are having trouble pronouncing the words, some of the, many of the words uh, and names of towns and individuals. So I'm here trying to do a short video um, that would explain how to uh, that would explain the correct pronunciation of those words. Um, so um, before I go on to explaining these terms and names, let me just mention once more our grammar rule. Um, in most Russian words, getting the right pronunciation involves knowing which syllable needs to be stressed. If the syllable is stressed, it means that the vowel in that syllable is pronounced as it is on in the alphabet. But if that syllable is not stressed, the articulation of the vowel in that syllable changes. It becomes, I would say, what's the, I don't know what would be the right term, but I think we could say it becomes irregular. I'll give you a few examples so that you will understand what I am talking about. For example, the first example, um, the first example I can give is the word um, okay let me give you a list of words I want to go through I think you can see these words let's see if you can see those ones. I hope they're clear the first one on top there is uh, is Donetsk then there's Sever or Donetsk then there's Rubezhna then there's Vitigorsk then there's Kiev but if you are listening to the media correct uh, closely, you will see that the first one is usually pronounced in the English media is pronounced as as uh, Donetsk, and the second one usually is pronounced as Severodonetsk, and um, or, and the third one sometimes is pronounced as Rubezhnoye, and the la third, the fourth is Sviatogorsk, and the last Kiev. So, the first word, Donetsk, if you notice, it has two syllables. But the second syllable is the one that is stressed, the one which has Netsk. So, it is pronounced Netsk because it is stressed. So, the pronunciation of the whole word is Donetsk. So, you notice that the O sounds a bit like an A, Danetsk, all right? If the stress was on the first syllable, the pronunciation would have been Donitsk, Donitsk, all right? Something like that. But because the stress is on the second syllable, the pronunciation is Danetsk, all right? Then the next word is uh, Severodonetsk. Um, it looks like a combination of two words. I'll have to cross-check that because Siever, Siever in Russian is north. So I don't know if that would mean that uh, that meaning of the word is north Donetsk. I'll have to cross-check that. But um, Siever, or in English, would, would, would write, it, it, sound, it looks like the English word Sever, but it's pronounced Siever. Yeah, because the stress is on the first syllable, all right, sever, all right, that e at the in the first syllable is pronounced as a y, sever, 
Sieverodonetsk. All right. So that is the proper pronunciation, not Sieverodonetsk. Sieverodonetsk. Then the third word is an interesting word also. Um, it's Rubiezhnaya. The stress in this word is in the second syllable. And once again, that vowel in that second syllable is pronounced as ye. All right? Because it's stressed. And uh, the same vowel at the end is barely, it is almost silence. It's pronounced almost like an, an I. So it's, and the, and the O in that, in the last syllable, is, is almost like an A. So the whole word is pronounced Rubiezhnaya. Okay. Um, so um, the meaning of that word is actually quite interesting because the word Rubiezh, if my, if my Russian grammar, uh, if I still remember my Russian grammar, the word uh, um, vocabulary, the word rubiege means edge, it means border or borderline. Very much like the word Ukraina means Ukraine, which means borderland or, um, or edge. So rubiege is like a synonym, uh, except that rubiege is, um, what do I call it? It's, uh, it's an adjective, an adjective like the word bad, red, fat kind, and so on, okay, Rubiezhnaya. The next word is um, Sviatogorsk. That also looks like, to me, like a combination of two words, Sviat and Gorsk. I think the word Gorsk means village or town, and Sviat means holy, or sacred. So basically, the meaning of that town is basically sacred town. So, however, the stress in this word, because the stress in this in this is in this word is on the last syllable, Gorsk. The pronunciation is Sviti Gorsk. So in the first syllable, you know we have that ya combination that like yeah sound that yeah sound in russian is actually the letter yeah which is a vowel sounds strange to english language speakers but yeah is a vowel in russian and when yeah is not stressed it's pronounced like an e so this goes svitigorsk svitigorsk but maybe this is a word where there's an exception in pronunciation so Native Russian speakers might correct me if I've got this wrong, but I bet that the correct pronunciation of that word is Svitigorsk. All right. And lastly, it's Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. You notice there are two syllables there, Ki and Ev. All right. Like I said, only one syllable is stressed. All right. So... I think it is the first syllable which is stressed, Kiev, which means that that E at the end in the second syllable sounds like an, another I, so it becomes Kiev. So um, that is a small introduction crash course on how to pronounce some difficult Russian words. Um, I've, it's almost 25 years since I was in Russia, in Russia so I hope, um, even though my Russian is um, a bit rusty, I hope um, I have not, I'm not f too far off the mark. So um, I'll leave you with that for now. I'll be back again with another video explaining a few more words. But before I go, let me go through the pronunciation of all those words we've discussed today. The first word is Danetsk. The second one is Sieverodonetsk. The second one is Rubiezhne. The third one is Svitigorsk. And the last one is Kiev. Thank you very much. Take care.